Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Ye. I'm a pediatrician, and on Beta Mama um, book break, I read books, um, children's books. So here I'm reading um, Little Doctor's Neurology. So thank you, Dr. Ahmed, for sending us these books. Um, this one is Little Doctor's Neurology for Babies. We've got one here, but we've got two other um, bigger babies <laughs> um, who could also learn from this book, and it's very colorful. Um, all right, so let's get started. The brain is the center that controls everything in your body. Let's explore some parts of the brain. How many colors do you see there? Can you count? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Can you name all the colors? All right, let's see what's next. The largest part of the brain is called the cerebrum. Mm -hmm. It is divided into two parts, the left brain and a right brain. Can you point to your left brain? Can you guys, what's your left side? That's your right. No, wait, that's your left. You're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my left. You got it? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. When you want to move your right arm, move your right arm. Oh, you got, <laughs> you got your right arm too. Your left brain sends a signal. So where's your left brain? Where's your left brain? Hold your left brain. Yeah. Your left brain sends a message down your spinal cord telling it to move. Oh, you got it? You got your right arm? <laughs> Can you raise your right arm now? Can you raise your right arm? Raise your right arm? Raise your right arm? Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job. On the other side, your right brain. Where's your right brain? Where's your right brain? Right, good. Controls your left arm. Isn't that funny? Raise your left arm now. No, raise your left arm. Raise your left arm. <laughs> the brain controls other things too, like talking. Can you say medulla oblongata? Medulla oblongata. Oblongata? Oblongata. Can you say medulla oblongata? Medulla oblongata. Oblongata. Very good. Very good. Can you say ah? <laughs> Your brain controls your senses, too. When something touches your skin, your brain helps you feel it. Touch your toes now. Did you feel that? Toes. We're working on learning our toes. Toes. <laughs> Touch your toes. Okay. When your eyes find something colorful, your brain helps you see it. What colors do you see here? Oh, it's beautiful. I think they might have used oil pastels for that. Oil pastel? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I have. Beautiful um, colors. When you eat something yummy in your tummy, in your tummy, your brain helps you taste it. What's your favorite fruit? Oh, as a pediatrician, I love this. We're talking about fruits. Yes. What's your favorite fruit? What's your favorite fruit? Um, apple. Yeah, what do you like to eat? Um, watermelon, watermelon. and yeah. pear. Mango. Mango. Mangoes? Mango. Yeah. When a noise reaches your ears, your brain helps you hear it. Make a loud noise now. Boom! <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? What loud noise did you make? When your nose sniffs a flower, your brain helps you smell it. What's your favorite smell? Uh, okay, I'm not sure about that. Okay, Probably mine is um, um, fried um, 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 flowers. You like the fried flowers that um, Grandma makes? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think I think this one likes the smell of chicken, right? She likes her chicken dishes. <laughs> There's so much more to learn, but one thing is for sure. Your brain is just amazing, isn't it? Your brain is really cool. And smell is also when it when yeah, she we, throws up. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, we definitely smell when she throws up. Because of your brain, you are able to eat, see, hear, run, and play. And you're also able to feel, too, your feelings, right? Sometimes we feel happy, sad, angry. 
Right? Okay, now let me... Um, okay. Let me all right. Well, next time we'll read the next, um, the cardiology book. Until next time, take a break, read a book, go outside and play. Bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.